Today, I'm going to be checking to see if my coolant is old and needs change in my 1999 Ford Taurus. Now, this is a similar process for most cars. First, you're going to want to make sure your car is cooled down. That's because the coolant builds up a pressure circulating through your engine. If you try to open the coolant cap hot, it's going to shoot out and spray everywhere. So let your car cool down. Once your car is cooled down, you're going to need to pop the hood. It might be a button in your car, it might be a lever. Either way, pop your hood, because we're going to need to get to our overflow reservoir in our coolant system. It's good too to have a full service repair manual. This brand is known as a Hanes repair manual. They're pretty popular. They're usually 20, 30 bucks new. You can get them old for 10 or 15. I got this one on Amazon and it applies to my car model. It apparently is also the same for Mercury Sables, 1996 through 2001. So you don't need this though. You can find a lot online, but if you're gonna be doing car work, find a full service repair ma uh, manual. Also, for this test, we're going to need a multimeter for this type of test. There's separate tools you can buy specifically for your coolant system. You can buy these little plastic pieces that have balls that float and measure. You can buy coolant testing strips. There's a few different ways you can do it, but I'm going to be using a multimeter and testing for voltage. Once your latching mechanism has been opened, open your hood. Some hoods have a bar that holds it up. Make sure you do that if it doesn't stay up on its own. You don't want it slamming on you. My overfill reservoir, your coolant reservoir, happens to be on the front right side. Now, you're looking at it, it's going to be on your left. But when talking about cars, everything is from the perspective of the person riding in it. Oh, I'm sorry, so this would be the front right side. Yeah, so it looks to your left, but if you're sitting in the car, it's on your right. Almost all coolant reservoirs have a cap like this. And it will say engine coolant usually, and it will warn you a certain pressure. That's the pressure it can maintain before it starts to leak. So, there's a lot of pressure in this system. So if you unscrew this when it's hot, you could seriously hurt yourself. So let it cool down before opening this. For this test though, we do need to open it. So once your engine is cool, open it up. And you even heard a light steam coming off mine. But mine's cool, I haven't driven in over an hour. Now once this is open, you need to get your multimeter. You're also gonna need someone helping you with this. I've got my multimeter ready. And with your negative connector, you're gonna put this to the negative terminal of your battery, which is black. So the black should touch the black. Then, with someone in the car, you're gonna put the live, the red terminal, into the coolant and have them rev the engine to 2,000 RPM. You're going to have it on the volt setting. You can do a high volt if you want, like a 12 volt, 20 volt. And you're gonna check to see what the voltage reads when they rev the engine to 2,000 RPM. If it's above 0.4, your coolant's old. It's broken down and it's doing damage. If it's below 0.4, you're okay, although it still might be recommended that you do a flush anyway. Just because maybe you've driven over 30,000 miles or whatever it is for your car. So I'm gonna get my checkers in position and I'm gonna test it. Now we need to start our car. and rev to 2,000 RPM. Rev it to 2,000 RPM. With one terminal, the black terminal on the black of the battery, and the red terminal in your coolant, rev to 2,000 RPM and see if it goes above 0.4 volts. Okay, 
so I had someone help me rev the engine to 2,000 RPMs while I tested the voltage of the coolant. At a few points, I saw it jump to 0.3 volts, which is pretty close to 0.4, and I know it's been way over 30,000 miles for me, so I'm going to flush the coolant. A lot of coolants on them say you can go to 150,000 miles, and maybe some you can, but if you care about your vehicle, or if you're going to a hotter climate soon like I am, just update your coolant, flush it out. It's pretty easy to do yourself. Uh, I'm going to have a video for that soon. So to test it, you need a volt, you need a multimeter, or you can use a tube that they sell in stores, or you can use strips, but for my method, you need a multimeter, and you need someone to help you out. And make sure your engine is cold before you open the coolant cap. It's pretty easy to do yourself, and you can figure out if you need new coolant. Good luck.